Babylon AD was actually an excellent movie. It could have been longer, like The Dark Knight, a movie which has almost grossed a billion dollars already. That's pretty impressive, featuring the tumbler, Batman's car. Now, you can't buy your own tumbler, but we did send Natasha Eloy out to find a nice set of wheels made by a real-life box. Obviously, this is not Wayne Enterprises' uh, R&D, but it's pretty close. So how is um, Inca's armored car different than your average car you'd roll off a lot? Well, the main, the main difference is the modification in the vehicle. We completely armor every single part of the vehicle, anywhere from the inner core of the vehicle to the tires to the windshield. Armored Cars is an Ontario-based security firm that adds armor to high-end vehicles for high-profile clients like diplomats and celebrities. We've already stripped the whole vehicle and we started uh, inserting all the armor into it. The floor is where we uh, actually start. What we use is a special type of steel. It's, type, it's a flexible steel. Okay. What it does is uh, it absorbs the blast and say if there's a grenade or any type of uh, bomb underneath the vehicle. But what's this? I've never seen this before. This is special metal. This is protection. Bulletproof steel. So if I had like a, 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 a sniper shot the glass, yes, the glass. it the would glass. protect. This is protecting for glass. We protect everywhere inside, everywhere. This is different between life and death. For the engineers at Incas, clearly the stakes are high. The only way they can be sure their armor meets ballistic challenges is to test it themselves. This is where we do our testing, yeah, cool. depending on the uh, level of armor that the, uh, the client is inquiring about. We'll get the uh, we'll get that thickness of the steel. Place it right there. Put it in front of uh, put it in front of the pro right. proper gun, and uh, hopefully it stops it. We used to supply vehicles only to Middle East. Now in Africa, now we supply to Europe. We supply to North America. Unfortunately, you know what? I see the world going in the wrong direction, and more and more countries require this level of vehicles, level of protection. I'm sure the Dark Knight can relate to the world being a dangerous place. And even though these cars can't leap between rooftops, they can certainly keep you safe in style. Well, it's no tumbler, but it's definitely a keeper. They look like some pretty cool cars there, but I imagine they carry a pretty hefty price tag. Oh yeah, basically the car prices can vary depending on what you have done with them. So you can double the sticker price to have them tricked out in armor. Whoa. Like that Land Cruiser, yeah. 75 Gs, fully loaded with all the bells and whistles, cha-ching, 150. I wonder if they would uh, armor plate my 95 Saturn. I mean, it is a different kind of car. You are a different kind of driver. Here's the news.